Greetings YouTube Pipe Community, it's Peter Pipe of the True Light coming to you at 19 hours and 1 a minute Eastern Standard Time minus 4 hours Greenwich Mean Time for my global subscribers. I'm smoking my Wix Bulldog Estate Pipe, which I picked up about two years ago. Um, had it repaired, had a band put on it. But, uh, and, uh, they also put a new stem on it, which I chewed through. Hmm. So to compensate on it, I put a softy bit on it. Not something I'm accustomed to. I feel like I'm smoking through a, uh, spare tire. Hmm. Makes for a good clench, though. Saves my teeth. And in it, I am smoking some aged John Cotton Double Pressed Kentucky. I cellared this back in February of 2020, and uh, well, it's going down good. So, what's new? Nothing. Just biding my time, working at home, enjoying life, hoping for warmer weather. Was out on the deck today, but it got kind of breezy. So I came back in here having a uh, glass of Merlot. Always pairs well with double pressed Kentucky or anything for that matter. So nothing much is going on other than just I want to get a new stem for this pipe and uh, Wilkie um, tobacco which is now um, out of the firehouse smoke shop in uh, Fall River Massachusetts are the ones that did the uh, the refurbishing on this pipe and I want to get another stem since I chewed through this one. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they have a lot, like a little bit of variety. I'd like to get a really nice different colored other than black stem on it. Um, they were able to match the, uh, you know, the bulldog, what I would call the diamond shape on it. And uh, I'll be a little more careful with it. this uh, John Cotton Double Press Kentucky. I really missed the uh, one John Cotton blend that they uh, discontinued was the Smyrna, which was an Oriental Forward English blend, I believe. And uh, not sure why they discontinued it. I don't know whether the tobacco was unavailable, blending components. I don't know. I 
found that it was similar to Trafalgar. That was uh, a blend introduced to me by uh, Dale Piper. Enjoyed that. Might get some of that later. I put in an order to uh, pipesandcigars.com yesterday. They were having a sale on the uh, Peterson blends. I think I got three of them. I got the three P's, the block, three P's. There's the green label. And I ordered a tin of Royal Yacht, which is an aromatic. And I'm not partial to aromatics. So that should be an interesting experiment. Oh. And uh, I ordered a tin of... Uh, my blend or my mixture 965. I haven't had that in a while. I ordered a lighter, a uh, soft flame butane lighter, real El Cheapo lighter with a Bengal Slices logo on it. I cannot believe what some people will spend on a lighter. They've got lighters that are over $1,000. Can you imagine that? I guess if Elon Musk took up pipe smoking, he'd get one of those. Mm -mm. I'm a simple man. I don't need a $1,000 lighter. Although the Peterson lighters are pretty snazzy. They're a little over, I think they're a little over a hundred bucks. But still, that's a lot to pay. So when I get the, uh, the Bengal Slices lighter, I'll have to give you a report on that. Mmm. This is really good. Sky's gray, sun's down. Can't call this cold weather, but at the same time, it's not out on the deck weather. Just take care, you know, what should I say? Um, enjoy life. Have a bowl. Have a drink. That's what I'm doing. Don't overdo it. Speak the truth, seek enlightenment, and God bless. Peter Piper, the True Light, signing off. Take care, folks.